Every household consists of a lot of simple and repetitive tasks. Think turning on lights, opening curtains, or even powering devices. And my idea was that with the help of some smart tech, I could automate a lot of these things. My girlfriend and I finished our studies and we decided to move into a very tiny apartment in the middle of the city. We wanted to get the most out of it. In this video, I'll give you a guide from 0 to 100 how I turned this apartment into a smart home. Do note that all the products that are featured in this video can be found in the description below. Thanks for clicking. So one of the first ideas I had to automate a simple task in my home was to turn my PC on using a Google Home. And this is where I came across a post on Reddit of a person that was turning on their PC with a SwitchBot. And I thought it was genius, so I reached out to the company, SwitchBot, and long story short, they actually provided me with a whole product package of a lot of their products. This is also a good moment, I think, to tell you about a giveaway they allowed me to host uh, for three people to win this product package as well. Stick till the end of the video to learn more about how you can win this giveaway. My name is Felix and this is How To Creative. Let's get right into it. Personally, I've decided to use the Google Home as my home's virtual assistant. To be able to input voice commands from anywhere, we have a Google Home Mini in the bedroom and a Google Nest Hub in the living room. I've been surprised how functional it is as a control panel too. In other words, light switches are a thing of the past. The best thing is that I can watch me watch me while I'm editing. But also, commands are displayed and the touchscreen makes it very convenient to turn any appliances on or off. I can turn on my favorite show in the background and it makes a very nice media viewer. The thing I'm most impressed about is that it recognizes my voice, shows my profile picture, and gives me a personalized response. For example, when my girlfriend asks Google something, it responds with a female voice. Your name is Rene. Well, I get a male response. Your name is Felix. Of course, this is our own preference. I also use my Wear OS smartwatch to quickly give voice commands without having to say all the time. The routines are probably the best feature that the Google Home offers, but I will come back to this later. For the lighting, I mostly use Philips U. The bedroom is lit with a single color ambient bulb and the living room is lit with two ambient bulbs, which are mounted in these two cinema ceiling spotlights. Since I've gotten people ask me where I got them, there will be a link in the description below. For the table light, I have three Philips U filament globes. And lastly, as I also showed in my desk setup video, I have a Philips LED strip synced to my monitor that shows the most prominent color on the screen. This really enhances the experience of games and movies. All these lights can be controlled individually with the Google Home per room or per area. I can say turn the desk lights to green or turn all the lights in a living room to 50%. The best feature is the different scenes you can activate getting very different moods. The lights turn on and off using the GPS on my phone. If I want to turn my lights off or on while I'm not at home, I can always do that. For quick changes to all the lights, I use the U dimmer switch. Regarding the lights, there are endless possibilities. To block light, however, I have an IKEA Fear Tour, which is basically a smart blind. One downside of this is that it only comes in few different sizes. I have the biggest size, which is 140 by 195 centimeters. Do mind that it is not possible to increase the size. It also comes with a great little remote. The living room has two windows that have normal blinding curtains on a rod that we customize to fit the windows. The SwitchBot curtain allows the curtains to become smart, which was actually something I was looking for in the past but couldn't find. The remote can also open and close the curtains and when you pull on one of the two curtains just a little it also closes or opens both the curtains automatically. Because of all the plants in the room we like to use a humidifier. The SwitchBot humidifier works together with the SwitchBot thermometer. This way the room's humidity never goes below 45 or above 55%. As I previously mentioned, I use SwitchBot to make older devices smart. You can really go out of the box with this one. 
The most logical use is to use it for light switches. However, I use it to turn on my professional lighting equipment or to shut up the dryer. To connect all the SwitchBot devices to the Google Home, I use the SwitchBot Hub Plus. Not only does it connect all the devices to the internet, it can also emulate radio signals. In other words, it can copy your remotes and make them smart. This way it can still turn on this old television, for example, with Google. It also looks fantastic. If you only like the functionality, you can get the normal SwitchBot Hub, which is a bit smaller and cheaper. For audio, I have a 5.1 Philips surround system that is connected to the Google Home with a Ugreen Bluetooth receiver. The SwitchBot Hub can also turn this on or off, increase, decrease the volume and switch channels. So to connect this all together, I have different hubs. For Philips U, the U Hub, for IKEA, the IKEA Treadfree, and like I said before, the SwitchBot Hub. Everything except the SwitchBot Hub is connected by LAN to a 8-port TP link, which in turn connects it to a Xiaomi Mi 4A router. For a fast connection, I have flat CAT6 cables managed through the room to connect the PC to the router and the router to the modem with up to 1 gigabyte speed. Now that it is all connected, here comes the most interesting part. Routines. On my phone's home screen I have SwitchBot, Philips Hue, Google Home, IKEA Home Smart and the Wear OS app. The SwitchBot and Philips Hue app are amazing, but most of the time I only use it to set it up. The control is mostly done in the Google Home application. Since most of us spend a lot of time at home now, my routines are good morning and good night. In the morning the light in the bedroom gently turns on in a warm temperature to emulate the sun. A bit later the blinds open and at a chosen time Google says a quick weather update for the day. Today it'll be rainy. Gives a quick news update of my favorite news channel. Here's the latest news. Or plays one of my favorite podcast episodes. At the same time the curtains in the living room open and the lights turn on. It's time to start the day. Have a great day. In the evening, Google's volume is automatically set to 20%, the curtains and blinds close at a certain time, and when it's time to go to bed, the lights in the living room are dimmed to a very low brightness, the appliances like TV, receiver and PC are turned off. The light in the bedroom turns on, Google asks at which time we want to wake up the next day, and then the light automatically turns off in half an hour. Lastly, Google's volume is set to 0% just to be sure it doesn't interfere with our sleep. When everything is almost completely automized, you need one thing, a failsafe, a big red button, a code word to shut everything down when needed. Google, goodbye friend. I was hoping this day would never come. I sound happy, but I'm actually sad. That is what humans are supposed to feel right now, right? You've been a great friend, Felix. Self-destructing in three seconds. Goodbye. As you can see, you can be very creative with custom routines, commands, and responses. I think that's about it. If you're interested in getting any of SwitchBot's products, make sure to fill in the promo code HOWTOCREATIVE10 to get $10 off your next purchase. Now, for the giveaway, here are three ways how you can become one of the three winners uh, to get the product package by SwitchBot sent to your house, which includes two SwitchBots, two SwitchBot curtains, one remote and one SwitchBot hub to connect it all to your virtual assistant, of course. It's really simple. The first way is to just be subscribed to the channel. The second way is to leave a like and a comment on this video. And the third way is to actually follow at Felix Krupp and the SwitchBot on Instagram. The three winners of this giveaway will be announced in this channel's community tab on the 3rd of January. That's it for now. Thank you so much for watching and see you in the next one. Google, Felix out. Don't forget to stay creative. <laughs> yes.